I'm here with Susan Dunn from Harbor Litigation Funding. My understanding is that the consultation period just ended for the Code of Conduct for third party funding. Can you give us some of the highlights or what we can expect to see if it's enacted as is? Yeah, so the consultation period ends today and so what we'll see hopefully by the end of the year is the Code of Conduct itself. What the purpose of the Code of Conduct is to help users of funding to know really what they should be looking for when they're entering into funding with uh, lawyers uh, and, and funders and so, uh, so for, for users of funding and their advisors the code of conduct should hopefully be a helpful guide to what they should be looking for in the agreement between them and their funder. The kinds of things we're looking at is disclosure of funding agreements, complaints processes for users as they, re as they might need them uh, and, and just guidance about what to find in terms of termination provision in funding agreements. Now the hope is that this is in place by the end of the year. It's been a long and very slow journey in Hong Kong but I, I think we're nearly at the end of that road and there's a lot of pent-up um, demand for funding. We've seen in every other jurisdiction we're in 15 now whenever funding is permitted and we've often created the jurisprudence then the increase in, in the amounts of cases which can then proceed which couldn't proceed without the funding are now happening. Users in Hong Kong are not currently able to make use of that funding and it's stopping good cases going ahead. So we really hope that this gets done because otherwise as it stands Hong Kong is now really quite far behind the rest of the common law world and civil law jurisdictions too who have permitted funding for a long time. So it's time for Hong Kong to come up to the pace with everybody else. Step it up.